Hello, this is Michael Lively from Northern Kentucky University, and today we're going to talk about building web forms. Uh, we often have instructors come to us and ask to put a form up on the web, and they can take a long time depending on what they want us to do, sometimes uh, days, maybe weeks. Uh, but there's a new piece of software out there created by Coffee Cup that allows you to build forms in just a matter of minutes, and it's called Coffee, Coffee Cup Web Form Builder. And it's relatively inexpensive. You can buy it for about $39 and it is a drag and drop form builder and it will send both an email or put that data into an SQL database. So I'm going to actually show you the software and we'll produce a small form with it. Uh, it is intuitive which means you look up here and you can see there's just a row of buttons and you click and you drag right on the stage whatever you need. It's a flash based system which builds an XML back in. So let's start a new form. I'm going to go ahead and just create a simple name, email, gender, input form. It'll bring a few text boxes out on the stage. Just by clicking the button, you have text boxes. And we'll change the names here in a few minutes. Let's just get our form set up. Uh, let's put in some input bo boxes. And let's go ahead and put in some radio bot buttons for the gender. And finally, we're going to want to have a submit button. So if you scroll over here, you can see at the top there's a submit button. Okay, oh, I hit image by accident. Let's go ahead and hit submit. And there's my submit button. Let's go ahead and put one more label up here. And now we can actually start to uh, change the labels. And everything is changed over by the left side of the control panel here. And I'm going to change this to, sub, uh, to my form. And let's go ahead and increase it to 18 and put some italicize on it. Let's put an image in there just to snazz it up a little bit. So there's an image button here. And it just opens up a uh, file search. And let's choose this uh, image right here. Now the nice thing about images is actually go behind the form elements. So if you want to have a large, nice looking background, you can just bring that in as an image and set it behind the form elements. We won't do that in this case. So let's continue a little bit with this form. I'm going to change this name here to uh, name. Let's move that over so you can see it. And the next one, I just click on the label and over on the left side here, I just type in um, email. And bring that over so you can see it. Let's work with our gender buttons. We'll change this one to male, excuse me, female. And we're going to go ahead and name it so that the database or the email sees it as a female input piece. And the next one we'll change to male. Excuse me, the text goes here. Okay, and the uh, database la label or email label goes here. And notice both of those uh, are in uh, group one, so it, it's actually automatically grouped those uh, together for me. Uh, now let's change the form elements. So the name I'm going to put as name, and I can actually require it to be filled in by hitting the require button. And the next one is. Um, email. And I'm going to want to validate that. So if I click that email, you see the uh, coffee cup um, gives you automatic validation. We're almost done with our form. We can actually view and see what it's going to look like. So let's hit preview. And that will be our web form there. And we just built that in a matter of minutes. So that's really a nice piece of software. Just one more thing to do. Let's go ahead and go to edit and go to form settings. And this is where we can actually set the email. So we want it to be sent to me, lilym1 at nku.edu. And uh, we can actually put a subject line here and we just put my form. And you can also do a copy or also blind copy. Uh, on this tab right here, you can also set it to go to a MySQL database. And by checking this right button right here, it'll take you to a database that you set up on your server. So what we'd have to do here is actually go to your server, create a database, and give it a name and a password and username. And we'll show you how to do that in an upcoming a video tutorial. We won't check that for now. We'll just get back off of that and go back to email. And we've got an email address in there and hit OK. 
And it looks like our form is almost ready to go. Let's go ahead and uh, save it. And I'm just going to call it my form, and I'll save it right into Coffee Cup. Now, right here, what Coffee do Cup does, which is really nice, it gives you the ability to upload the form directly to the web from the Coffee Cup software. So you don't need an FTP program like Dreamweaver or FileZilla. You can just use Coffee Cup. Nice feature, especially when you're making changes to a form, and you just keep uploading new versions. So we won't use that right now, but I do want to open up and take a look at the form that we created. So I'm going to go to my Uploads folder, and I'm going to look in the Coffee Cup Form folder. And there's my Coffee Cup folder right there. Now what's really unique here, and I think is a great idea, is that Coffee Cup has produced this XML backend. And what this is actually doing, it's, we'll try to open this up in uh, a WordPad, or Notepad. It's actually created all the, f the uh, form buttons in terms of XML. So the Flash will pull that XML end and actually read uh, what the buttons are and place them on, on the page where they're supposed to go. Uh, this is really a great idea. It, we had uh, thought about this at the University of Cincinnati when we were building uh, e-portfolios. And Coffee Cup has actually mastered uh, this approach. And uh, great piece of software. I encourage that you buy it and use it, and it will save you tons and tons of time.